guys here today. We're going to show you two magnificent five-star meals that every redneck knows from the back of their heart. You know, this has been around in families for generations and generations. And, uh, hey, we're here to show you how to make it and perfect it. So, without further ado, here we go. Get you some boiling water in a pan. You're going to fill it up about that much. Then you're going to throw your hot dogs in there. You know, probably five or six of them, ten of them. I don't know how, depends on how hungry you are. All right. Let that boil for about five or ten minutes or so. Uh, kind of on your preference. Then you pull them out to the side, leave them set. But be careful because you get hungry while you're waiting for the rest of the meal, so make sure you save some for the rest. Then you get your macaroni in, and then put it in there, boil up that macaroni there, and, and then get ready to mix in everything else. This is going to be some delicious lunch. Hey, macaroni's done. Hey, going to bring that old macaroni over here, the old strainer. Yep, going to strain that old macaroni right out of there. Yeah, boy, that's good looking stuff there. All right, step the pan back on the deal. Shake off the excess water. Yep. Bring it over here, put it back in the pan. There you go. Look at there. Alright. Now you're going to take your butter. You're going to put in four tablespoons. Two. Three. Come on, something. Four. And one to grow on. Ain't much different from raising kids. Yeah. Now, we need a quarter cup of milk. There you go, a little quarter cup of milk. A little pinch to grow on. Add your season. Woo! Spread that around in there. Oh yeah. Now you take your stuff. Mix it on in there. Kind of get your butter down the bottom. That way it gets melted. Get melted by the time you get in there and ready to stir. And leave that set for just a couple minutes. Alright. Now you can either add your hot dog. You know, you gotta make sure you get a good grip on that daggone thing. It's a flimsy little bad, bad boy. So you can either, you know, cut it in here now, or you can wink. If somebody that you're speeding don't like hot dogs in the macaroni, you can add it in there after you get your bowl. You know, get your bowl, the people want it, cut it up, and then put it in their bowl. So, hey, that's how you make some daggum good macaroni and cheese. Boy, oh boy, doesn't that macaroni just look good? <laughs> hey, you just can't beat it. Alright, second meal, what you're gonna need is the world famous, the most universal thing in the world. Bologna. That's right. Hey, this stuff's like gold, man. You can't beat it. Now first, we're going to cut this bologna out. We're going to get a slice, because that's all I'm going to eat right now. One slice. All right, first, you're going to take out your bologna. Now, if you get the good brand, the top, you know, top of line stuff, top shelf stuff, it's got this fancy fancy red band around the outside of it. You just pull that off there. Yeah. Boy, that looks good. Then you get the old arm, and you do the old fancy chef thing, you drop it. Yep. That's how you do it. Now, Important thing is, slap that sucker right in the middle of skillet. That's what we want. We like that old sizzle. Yep. That is exactly what we want. Oh, yeah. You hear her talking to us? That's what we like. We like to have a little conversation with it. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Now, me personally, I like putting a little pepper on mine. Some people don't, but I do. So let's just have a little bit of pepper on there. There you go. Don't take much. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Check this out. See that nice gold ring around the outside? See how it's a little bit cooked in the middle? Not like how I like my steak, you know. You got red in the middle, but it's outdone on the outside. That's the way I like it. That's the way I like my bologna. Now, we're going to scoop it off the skillet. We're going to put it on our plate, just like so. Now, some people will put this on a sandwich, you know. You put mayonnaise and ketchup, stuff like that, and, and mustard. Me? Nah, I'm old school. I like to eat it like a slice of fried ham. Oh, yeah. It don't get no better than this, folks. God damn it, fucking hot! Ah. Whew, fuck that hot. It don't get no better than this, folks. Mm -mm. I'm gonna talk about damn near sex in your mouth. Good stuff. Mm. Damn near bring a tear to my eye. I just love fried bologna so much. But hey, that's two recipes. You got your famous macaroni and cheese with hot dogs, and you got your fried bologna. I'll survive and eat five-star meals. That's what you need. Hey, everybody have a good weekend. Be safe. Happy Friday. Chef Fordice out.